I'm Dr. Michael Agus. I'm the Division Chief of Medical Critical Care at Boston Children's Hospital and the Co-Medical Director of the Biocontainment Unit. I'm asked to speak to you today about the uh, difference in uh, levels of uh, protection afforded by different masks. Uh, the highest level of protection is the uh, N95 mask. The concept of the N95 uh, is that it's actually not referred to as a mask rather, but as a respirator. The only instance in which we wear these, even in the hospital, is during uh, uh, a moment where we fear that the virus itself has been aerosolized, which means uh, the particles uh, that the virus travels in through the air are small enough that they will in fact get through the surgical mask or the ear loop mask. So the aerosol generating is real, but it is limited in time and space uh, to specific environments. As we move down to the next mask uh, called uh, the ear loop mask or the surgical mask, this is one of the ones we've been using uh, recently at, at Boston Children's, uh, this filters out droplets. Now in regular uh, daily uh, life with a patient with COVID-19, which includes uh, breathing heavily, it actually includes coughing as well, sneezing, all those uh, events produce droplets. Droplets are, uh, are big enough uh, that they don't overwhelm the filtration capacity of this mask. Now, what's the benefit of, of wearing a, a non-medical version of this? Uh, so wearing a bandana, wearing a scarf, um, you know, some of the, the, the benefits are, are pretty similar. It's not gonna get transmitted through your skin. We know, we know that's, that's the case. The only way it gets transmitted is if you then take your hand and introduce it into a mucous membrane. So by wearing essentially anything over your mouth and nose, you have uh, protected yourself and decreased the likelihood you're gonna uh, transmit. Let's all remember that there's three different levels of protection that we wear on our nose and mouths. There's the N95, the ear loop mask, and then the homemade bandana mask. Each of them has its own associated risks and benefits. None of them, importantly, cover the mucous membranes of the eyes. But none of them also offer the definitive protection in this virus of hand washing. Hand hygiene, whether it's with Purell or with soap and water, is far and away the most significant thing we can all do to protect ourselves. Be safe, be healthy, and be kind.